Okay, so if history is any indication, iOS 17 and developer beta 1 is less than five months away. Yes, at WWDC, it happens every year. During the first two weeks of June, we see Apple announce the next major operating system for all their platforms. And of course, iOS 17 this year will be the next major update. So of course, in this video, I wanted to share with you guys a few changes, features, and things that I would like to see Apple bring to the iPhone with iOS 17. So go ahead and join me in this video, and let's just dive right into this one. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, the first thing I would like to talk about is messages. I want Apple to really expand on the iMessage platform. There's other third-party application messaging service and social media platforms that continue to push the envelope and provide a lot better user experiences than the iMessage platform. Now, just a quick note, if you go into the App Store, Apple classifies the Message app as a social networking application, which makes sense, right? You have group chats, you have a lot that has to do with social networking, social experiences. So I think Apple could push the iMessage platform to the next level. It's been rumored for quite some time that Apple is working on doing this move where you can set maybe a public profile where others can follow you and you can share experiences and stories and even photos just like what you do on Twitter and things like that. So I'm hoping to see a lot of changes to messages this year and hopefully Apple will finally push the social media aspect into the iMessage platform. Again, you can keep the message application as a message app, but also have the option to hopefully maybe add a public profile where others can follow you in the iMessage ecosystem. So we'll have to wait and see. Apple has been planning this for quite some time. And also, of course, new features I'm hoping for as well. There's other third-party messaging platforms that have a ton of additional features that Apple just hasn't brought to the platform just yet. We're hoping to see a lot this year within messages. Let me know what you think about this idea. Now, the next thing I would like to talk about is live activities and widgets. Now, ever since the introduction of live activities, you now have control control of things that are happening in real time and you can control your music as you can see right here from the lock screen of course if you're expecting maybe food delivery you can see that in real time so hopefully apple will bring live activities to the home screen of iphone it would be great to see this because of course if you have these live activities you can control your music directly from the home screen at a quick glance and apple can even add additional widgets i would love to see a widget for the home application right so you can go ahead and activate certain things around the house or maybe maybe check some automation, some climate control and things like that. We don't have a widget for the home application, which I think is a big miss. So hopefully Apple will bring live activities to the home screen of iPhone. As it sits right now, you do get some widgets here with information, but you can't really interact, especially with music widgets, uh, delivery services and things like that. And as I mentioned, even the home application would be great to see as a live activity on home screen. So hopefully we see some changes to this within iOS 17. Let me know if you would like to see this as well. Now, with all also like to see some changes happen to the battery health department. So under battery health, I think this particular portion of iOS creates a lot of stress for users. This number right here is the problem in my opinion. I think Apple could probably change this maybe to a color scheme, just like when you're running out of battery where you go from yellow to red, obviously from green to yellow to red. So just set it as colors because many iOS users, this is a very popular question I get, always ask what's a good number for a good battery health. Although iOS prompts you itself when it's time to to replace the battery. I think the number creates an additional stress level that isn't required here. I think Apple can change this to maybe a color scheme. I mean, I'm no software expert, but I think a color indicator would probably be better than a number because the number one question I get in terms of battery health is what number is okay? Is 90? Is 80? Is 70? So it's just stressful for many users. I've experienced this uh, throughout the years since Apple announced the feature and uh, most of my comments in regards to battery have to do with that. So I would like to see some changes happening in that department. Now, another thing I would like to see Apple do is actually have a standalone application for Memoji customization. Now, as of right now, if you go into messages, you can click here the three dots after selecting the Memojis and you can edit your Memoji. And this has grown so much so you can always customize so many things, but Apple has now added additional uh, options in order to customize your Memoji 
even from clothing and different stickers and things like that. I think it's time for Apple to actually create a standalone application for the Memoji so you can customize your Memoji instead of having to do it through messages. I think those two things can also be tweaked and added to the next major update, iOS 17. Now, before we continue with some more additional features and changes that I would love to see within iOS 17, I wanted to share a quick word from our sponsors, Case Cool. Now, I'm sure you've seen these cases laying around the studio, the Case Cool Magic Stand case. I love the colors available right now. We have the black and matte black option, as you can see right here. I've been using this one for quite some time, but they also feature a black and clear, which looks very, very sleek, as you can see right there. And they also offer additional options like purple. So if you have a purple iPhone, this one will match, as you can see right there. We also have a nice blue. And I love this gold color option. I mean, the color gold on this case just looks amazing. You guys should definitely check them out. Links, of course, will be in the description. Now, the Magic Stand case, of course, it is a magnetic stand case, as you can see right here. So when you go to use MagSafe, it's actually stronger on your magnets because the additional magnets on the actual case as well. So the experience on MagSafe is not interrupted. And of course, the case will do its job protecting your camera module as well as your screen because it does overlap those in order to to protect from any impacts or scratches. So check out Case Cool, of course, the Case Cool Magic Stand case. All the links will be in the description with any special deals. Now, one thing we can all agree upon is that the next thing that needs also improvement is Siri. Now, Siri is sort of a meme at this point on how bad it is. I think Apple has sort of left it behind. It's so far behind from the competition. It is kind of insane. Now, if I ask Siri something simple, like maybe write me a poem, she can't do that. Or look, a recipe. She just sends me over to the internet. So if I say, what's the recipe for mac and cheese? Here's what I found. So this is what we get, obviously, but I do have a Siri AI integration on this phone and I'm going to show you how much better Siri can actually be. Siri Pro Mode. How can I help you? What's the recipe for mac and cheese? Ingredients. And there two it is. Cups dry macaroni, two tablespoons butter. Two tablespoons an actual recipe breakdown on how to make mac and cheese, right? Something simple. So Siri with this assistant AI that I've integrated within the software can be integrated within Siri, right? Just to make her smarter. Now, if you want to learn how to do this, links will be in the description for my video on Siri where I enable the pro mode option using AI. But Siri has sort of been left behind. I think we can all agree that hopefully this year, Siri will finally get smarter. Now with iOS 16, Apple took the lock screen to the next level. I really love what Apple has done with the lock screen of iPhone and now you can customize it more than before. But I think within iOS 17, Apple can take this to the next level as well, add additional options, additional widgets, more customization. I have this jailbroken iPhone here just as a quick example. Things as simple as allowing users to customize shortcuts on the lock screen, customize widgets, as you can see right here. Why not do the whole thing? Apple has brought the weather, the customization, which I really, really love. I think they did a fantastic job. But I think a little more can be done to the lock screen in order to improve the user experience and for the love of god apple please if you're watching this video remove the camera shortcut from here because we also have the camera if we swipe to the right it just doesn't make sense it's been like this for years so please fix that within the lock screen as well now last but not least i would like to ask apple for more stability and performance now no software will ever be perfect there will always be bugs but let me know what your experience has been so far within ios 16 because i feel like iOS 16 has been plagued with a ton of bugs ever since the initial launch, more so than iOS 14 and 15 in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts in those comments down below, but of course stability and improvements in terms of performance is also a welcome addition. Maybe Apple could change the uh, way the uh, software also behaves, maybe the animations, maybe also improve the way the betas are sent out and how testers test these betas, right? And also get that feedback and take a little more time in order to polish things out. Of course, stability and performance improvements is one of those things that we always would like to see within the next major update. Not in betas because betas, we always see a lot of bugs. It is beta software. But once iOS 17 launches, I would love to see a more stable release than we saw last year with iOS 16, which was kind of a disaster at first. But anyway, stability and performance is one of those things that's a must on the next major update. And let me know what you think about these changes, features, and options that I would like to see. I would like to hear your thoughts, of course, in those comments down below. If if there's something I missed or something you would like to see that I didn't talk about, let me know. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.